60 custom panel. I just want to let everybody know that I am not sponsored by Blue Seas. I did not get any kind of discount or anything like that for this. This is my honest opinion. But Blue Seas, if you're out there listening, I got some things on my wish list. Go ahead and uh, send them over to me and I'll give you another good big thumbs up. With that said, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you need to know is the 360 panel is basically a custom modular panel that you order online at the Blue Seas website. So go to the Circuit Wizard button on their page and log in. If you haven't created an account, you will need to do that. It's really easy to do. After that, your first step is to find basically how many rows and columns you want your panel to have. Now, as you pick the different options, it'll tell you what your dimensions are. For example, mine is uh, two columns. And it is basically because I had two columns on my existing panel and it pretty much fit in. With a little exception, and I'll show you later on when we do that. Once you've got your number of uh, columns and rows set up, you then need to tell it whether you're doing a 12 volt, 110, or 220. My panel has both 12 volt and 120, one on each side. And from there, you pick what modulars, modules you want to drop into your panel. So you basically pick them out on the left, drop them in there on the right. Once that is done, then you select your distributor. And somebody at Blue Seas will review your panel and uh, tell you that it's been sent to distributor to give you your pricing. You then go to your distributor, pay for it and the production process will start. The very first part of that process is you're going to get a wiring, engineered wiring schematic for you to review and approve. Uh, on mine, I had picked out a single pole AC uh, breaker. So the engineer called me to confirm that's really what I wanted and, and uh, we spoke briefly and determined that I really needed a two pole breaker to make sure that I am within AYBC compliance. So he made that changes change really quickly, actually in under an hour, sent me this final drawing here for me to approve, which I did, and then the production start. Production took about four to six weeks, which is really not too bad considering we're in the middle of the COVID stuff going on. Now when you open the box, you'll notice a white manila envelope. Inside of that is the mounting template, instruction booklet, Mine came with additional wiring for the um, AC and DC multimeters, which I already had, so I didn't order them as part of the uh, panel construction. Also a terminal block and a bus bar. Here, you see the front of the panel still in its shipping bag. And on the back side, you see here, Call attention to the, the really nice job of construction and wiring, neat and tidy, very professional. Got to say, I'm really happy with it. Came with all the necessary pigtails to hook up the multimeters. Just a really nice job. So now it's time for me to start making up some pigtails. Here is the DC side, 10 gauge wire, ring terminals, heat shrink, just the way they're supposed to be. Here you see all of my pigtails all, all made up. Next, I mounted them onto each individual breaker on the back of the circuit panel. Notice that they're tagged uh, both ends of the, the wire so they can be easily attached to the proper terminal inside the uh, engine room. And here is the pigtail all complete and ready to go. Here you see the back of the panel with all the leads wired up. The red for the uh, DC, black for the AC, the uh, neutral wire, the case ground, and the power leads to power up the uh, breaker lights. Here are my old electrical panels. The uh, original Morgan DC panel, the very small AC panel, the by today's standards oversized uh, breaker for the windless, and a fill-in panel that I had cut out and made to hold the build switches, uh, alarm siren, and a multimeter. Definitely time to be replaced. Here is the original mounting bezel. As you can see, it's 
been modified by quite a few different owners. My original plan was that I would use this and just mount the new 360 panel right inside of that. But there was just too much open space around it, so I had to pull it out and make a new one. Now, I had a piece of red oak like you see here, but it wasn't quite big enough to make a new bezel, so I had to run up to big orange and get another piece. And wouldn't you know it, instead of having half inch, they only had three quarter. So when I brought it over to the wood shop, had to have the guys plane it down. Once we planed it down, we took the uh, template, made it all up, and here it is, stained and ready to be installed. Here you can see the basil put in place and the panel with the DC circuits on the left hand side and the AC circuits on the right. Now the next weekend I came back and finished all of the final connections. Here you see the back side of the panel inside the panel box and next here you see what I call the distribution box with both the AC and the DC lines coming from the electrical panel into there and then out to the circuit runs in the boat. And finally, here's the panel all fired up and working. What a big job that was. I'm glad I'm finished, but that's a really big thing to mark off the to-do list. Well, I've got to tell you that that was really a big job, but also one of the most satisfying jobs I've ever done on the boat. Now knowing that all of the electrical, both AC and DC, is up to or above AYBC standards is really a great feeling. So if you enjoyed today's video and you'd like to find out more of what's going on, go ahead and hit that subscription button. And if you feel so inclined, give us a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to hit the icon there and get notifications so you can see when all the new information is coming out and what's going on with the boat. Also, remember to follow us on Facebook. And once again, thank you for stopping in and we really appreciate your visiting.